everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to have a look at summoning. We're going to talk all things summoning. We're going to break down the summoning system, the pities, what does the 10 times really mean? When should you pull on the 10 times? When should you pull on the 2 times? What does it mean for this week specifically and going forward? The finest blood for the most untainted soul. All right, so before we get into when should you pull right now, considering all these events that are happening starting tomorrow, Thursday, if you're watching this video today when I'm posting it, um, I want to quickly break down this just to make sure everyone is clear about the way that they show things and how I kind of deal with the reality of keeping track of pity. <laughs> so Invocation of Spirits is our rare summoning crystal. The details are here. People, I've seen people ask about how do we know when we can get a legendary? It's here. So right here, 200 is when a pity timer starts. So this is once you pull a legendary on your account, a new, a new clock or a new ticker starts. And once you hit 200, if you have not gotten a legendary since, Every single pull is 5% chance more, 5% chance more, and 5% chance more, up until 220 summons guaranteeing you a legendary. So you can technically hit 219 summons with no legendary. That is how this pity works. It is what it is. 220, you're 100% guaranteed one. No questions asked. As long, I'm, as long as there's nothing funky with some weird banners, like I some people said, that that weird one plus one event didn't actually count the pity, which is terrible if that's the case. So for me, the one plus one event that popped up is amazing. It's my favorite banner that they do in raid. The extra legendary event is my favorite. But you only pull on that if you're close to pity, because that's the whole point. You're guaranteeing yourself two versus gambling and having to pull 200 summons to try to get to in the first place. So. I don't know if that's the case 100%, but I would certainly hope not <laughs> because it does show the same tracker and you are always counting the same trackers. So here, that's what we should talk about. When, when it comes to rare summoning crystals, we have a tracker. It tells you how many you've pulled on your account. No questions asked. This is how much you've pulled. Now, it does not tell you when you last got a legendary, so you need to keep track of that yourself. Notepad, post-it, spreadsheet, whatever floats your boat. Your cell phone, may put a, a post-it note in cell phone app thing. Keep track. Do something. Just write down every time you get a legendary, and then you know for sure when you're guaranteed a pity. And that's where it comes down to the different banners, which can merely have some influence. If you're close to pity or if you're not close to pity, that's where you kind of can decide what makes more sense for you. So overall, as we are seeing here, the pity is 200. This means, again, once you say, if you're close to pity, just are you close to at least 200 where you're going to start getting increased odds of getting a legendary, I would say. You want to make a guarantee one, ideally, when it comes to summoning on weird events like a 10 times where there's less chances to pull legendaries. So with no two times event up right now, it's only a 0.5% chance to get a legendary. 0.5. That sucks. And as I am someone who has had to hit two hundred pity twice already and my other ones have been pretty high as well so i'm not lucky at all when it comes to rare summoning crystals so the epics are only eight percent chance to pull an epic and unfortunately when there are two times rates they don't include epics in that it's only a two times rate to get a legendary so with all of these two times events that are coming up this just means you now have a one percent chance to get a legendary instead of 0.5. <laughs> it's so bad, but it is what it is. And that's why there's a pity. So at least you're guaranteed one every 200. Some people have the craziest luck. I can't even believe it. I've seen so many comments. People are like, oh, I pulled four legendaries and 50 or 60 summons. Like I got one in 200, two times in a row. <laughs> so not every account is blessed. I think some accounts are just cursed. Some are blessed, but luckily I started off with some good legendaries, so I can't complain either way. 
But all right, then we have the divine summoning crystals. These do not track at all, but we don't get them very often, let's be honest. So it's pretty easy. Just I uh, again spreadsheet. I just went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I just kept track. Did I get an epic? Did I get a legendary on my own little spreadsheet with every single pull? Because I'm not wailing out to buy these. I mean, I have bought the level up packs. And thanks to this summoning crystal during two times events, I really do have legendaries on my account. Or else I wouldn't have very many if it was only for the rares. Not gonna lie. These, buying these are why I have legendary. <laughs> it's so bad. So the difference here is the pity starts at 12, right? The pity starts at 12. And when it comes to that here, um, if the summon right, increases by 2% for the next summon. So let me just, all right, let me, let me calculate that, right? Let's just say that was crazy. So I didn't even think about it, how bad it really is. But if you only have an increase of 2% chance every summon in the, the guarantee, it's only 6% chance without a two times event. And then just, so the next pull after 12, pull number 13, is now a 8% chance. Pull number 14 is a 10% chance. Obviously, I could go on, but you see how high that's going to be? You could do like 50, 60, 50 summons, technically, with no legendary? That's the reality. That is why you pull during two times rates events for especially these, because... My god, it, I know in Raid Shadow Legends it's very similar. I think this might be a little bit worse, actually. But if you do 30 summons with legendary crystals and no legendary, I feel like you'd want to throw the computer out the window, right? Your phone out the window, uninstall the game. You know, it'd be like, ah, like it's so bad, but it can happen, guys. And I just really wanted to take some time to talk about these and the pities because I feel like people don't realize how hard it actually can be to get legendaries in this game because so many people get so lucky, but that's not the normal. Um, okay, the two times event, there's a 12% chance to get a legendary. That's pretty good. But the pity counter, uh, it doesn't even activate till 12. If I only, I haven't, luckily I haven't um, gotten to the point where I've pulled 12 legendary crystals with no legendary yet. I really don't want to, but I'm sure it's going to happen. But my goodness, like this is just the reality, guys. Know the rates, know the pity, know what you're going up against. And if you get the worst luck, you get the worst luck. It's just going to happen. All right. And I actually made a tracker for you guys. So I got requested to share my spreadsheet, but my spreadsheet has other personal stuff on it as well. So I didn't want to share my exact one, but I made a template here. So what I did was I went ahead and put my information in to be the example. But which I would say that you guys do if you want to use my spreadsheet to keep track of your summoning. So this column here is what the total summon count is when you look at your rare uh, crystal rewards, right? Legendary summons do not have that, so you need to log that yourself. So I was just logging when I got a legendary, but then I got a whole bunch in a row where I didn't. So instead, I put all my legendary crystals, and then every time I pull, if I get a legendary, I say who. If I don't, I just mark it down with a dash or put their name or just write epic or something. And then you can kind of keep track of where you're at. Like, I have a whole bunch here, six with no summons at the moment. Sorry, six with no legendaries at the moment. So this can just help you guys to do that yourself. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to file, and then you're going to make a copy. And then you can make a copy, copy it, that, call it whatever you want, make a copy, and that's going to open up a new Google Sheet, and that's now yours. So then you can go ahead, delete my info. I left it there just to be an example of how you might want to organize it. If I got the character on a 10 times, I would put a 10 times here. Ironically, all of my zealouses were when he was not on a 10 times. But yeah, you can just go ahead, clear my data, delete it, and now it's ready for you. But I wanted to leave my data in there just again as an example. I also have a tab for the rates. So here is the harsh reality of gotcha games. <laughs> Hope this tool can be helpful. I will also add this as a command um, to have you guys easily be able to use it for sake of my Twitch stream. So if you didn't save it, it will be linked in the description, but I'll try to have it uh, around for other times as well. But 
hope this helps some people to organize and keep track of your pity so you're always aware of what you have. So now let's talk the current events. So next up, we have the arrival of heroes, um, Oracle Trial here, which is kind of like a champion chase tournament if you guys have played Raid Shadow Legends. And it looks like the reward preview for just doing your own set is going to be amazing. Legendary crystals and rare crystals, and of course the fragments for the event. They really are tempting us to do it. But they're also insane. Ajax on the leaderboard. A random legendary card and an avatar for the leaderboard. Ooh. So that's the global leaderboard, aka... Let's just not sugarcoat it. 100% mega Kraken territory. No one... The only person that can get this is going to be the Krakens competing with the Krakens. Who can be the biggest Kraken? <laughs> that's just the way this is. It's not attainable by anyone lower spending, but that's kind of what that comes with the territory with a gacha game, right? It is what it is. So this is nice, but we don't know what all the rewards are going to be, but you don't have to do that summoning event in order to get the summoning or the fragment hero, right? You don't, for the fragments for her, you don't need to do that event to get one copy at least. There's plenty of opportunities to get the shards with skipping an event or two, so don't worry. But when it comes to it, all right, we have Invocation of Spirits Limited Rate Up. This is where, all right, so Thursday, guys. Thursday, Thursday. Who? Tomorrow, today, if you're watching this a day later, it starts at a weird time, not Friday. It starts Thursday. And then there's a two times event as well on Saturday. But as you can see here, drop rate of the hero increases to 10 times during the event. Two times increases for legendaries. They are not combined. And luckily, the game did a very, very nice thing and was very transparent about this. And I'm so happy to see this. This is what I want to see from the company. I mean, do your crazy events, whatever, but just be very clear about them at least. Um, and so this is a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is and it makes sense. The two times and the ten times are not on the same as like summoning banner, I guess you could say. Uh, like it was the very first week. So we have Silas and Vierna are part of the 10 times drop rate, which is from the 3rd through the 6th. And you have to have your account created for more than four days in order to be able to do this. You cannot re-roll and try to get them, guys. Don't do it. You can't do it. Uh, the rarity, the drop rates are low. So this is no improvement on drop rates 10 times. A 10 times does not mean... 10 times the chances for legendaries overall. It just means 10 times chances of getting that one hero. So I did have someone ask me to explain what a 10 times really means. So it's like you have a jar of jelly beans, a ball, different colors, one a different color for every legendary in the game, and you throw in 10 jelly beans of the same color to copy that one legendary you're trying to pull, or in this case, two. So there's 20 extra jelly beans in the jar that you reach in and pull out of. So you just have more chances to get that one copy, that one character, because there's more of them in the mix, so to speak. <laughs> it is kind of hard to explain it once I try to think about it. I'm like, how do you explain that? But yeah, it's like you just, you have, every hero has like an equal opportunity to be summoned. The lords are separate, of course. But with that in mind, you throw in 10 copies of the one hero that's part of the 10 times, 10 copies of the other hero that's part of the 10 times, and then you draw your pool. So if you get a legendary, which is only 6% chance, you have extra chances that it's going to be that character. Or same thing for the epics. If you get an epic, it's more likely to be one of those epics. All right, and then there is a crazy summons event going on starting, it says starting Friday, but Friday is not the 5th. The 5th is Saturday, so I think that's a typo either way. Um, the 5th is definitely a Saturday. The days don't change. The times do, but the day, is the, the day is the day. So here we go. So just like the other events, you have to have an account created for at least four days or you cannot participate in these events. It does discourage rerolling, which I think is a good thing. We really don't need to reroll in this game. Although, I mean, to be fair, some people have insanely blessed accounts 
And some people have cursed accounts, I swear. It feels that way. It really does sometimes. So maybe you reroll, you get a better start, and you have more fun, and you're excited. But you cannot do that with an event, so to speak, except for the two times legendaries for the very first three days, which is with every account. So that is what it is. But here, here's the big caveat. Ready? And boom. Silas and Vierna cannot be summoned in the crazy summon event. So we're just trying to be really clear here, guys. The two times and the ten times are separate. Do not be confused. They tell us very directly in game. So if you want to wait until Saturday or Sunday to summon and you want Silas and Vierna, it's not happening if you pull on the two times banner. You cannot get them. The banner is separate. Keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. It's really important. I don't, I mean, they are telling us as much as they're as clear as they can about these summoning events in game. So if people don't, if people miss it, that's on them. If that's on you, if you're like, I pulled on the two times and I didn't get, didn't realize till after I couldn't get them. Well, they tell us. At least they're being clear. I don't like when there's lots of weird events at the same time and it feels like stressful trying to choose what to do. But I do like when a game is at least transparent about it, which I love that they are being. So, when should you pull specifically, right? When should you pull? So, personally, I have pretty strong opinions about this because I played Raid Shadow Legends, and it's ex very similar, pretty exact, honestly. So I'm going to give my input from someone who played that game for almost four years and has played a lot of other similar games since. But I also know how I am and you just can't resist it. It's tempting. The dopamine is fun and you can't help. So number one, people will say, well, when should I summon? Some people are going to summon their crystals as they get them and they're never going to follow the events. And that's just how you play and that's how you choose to play. It's not efficient and you're never going to max out events if you do that. But if that's how you want to play, you play the way you want to play because you need to have fun because it's a game after all. Right? It's a game at the end of the day. And my very first piece of advice is don't, unless you are the kind of person that really does want to min max and try to do the right things, at least as far as being resourceful. If you stress about that stuff, then yeah, do the resourceful stuff. But if you just want to play, just freaking play. But then you have to have the consequences of if you summon too randomly, you're never going to max out an event. You're never going to get these fragment heroes. You're, you know, you kind of got to play with the events to be able to get the most extra stuff for your account. If you care, which most people do, I think most people want to get the bonus resources that come along with extra events. But the other factor too, number two, I would say the factor is, are you brand new? <laughs> If you've only played for one week, you just got to summon. I don't care if, if, you, if you just opened an account for one. If you're within four days, you cannot take advantage of these accounts or these events, period. So just summon. Just go. Go. Get an account. Get people. Don't wait. There's no reason to wait if you're brand new. You just need people to build. And that could be true depending on how fast and how much you play daily for your first week or two that might be a couple weeks where your strategy should just be pull as you get them and try to get heroes in general but ideally you want to wait for things that are two times rates up because they're just better chances to get a legendary although i'm gonna just be straight up guys when it comes to the legendary divine summoning yes i have seen those rates but personally i have hit 200 the worst pity possible pretty well, almost 220 technically is the worst but that's going to be extremely rare that someone has to get that i've hit 200 pity twice when it's been a two times event so really is it much better not for me not for me so that's arguable as well but definitely with the legendary crystals but i will still give the advice of if you're early game like within your first few weeks three weeks especially after you're past that one week point and you're really starting to kind of mold a team, saving for the two times event is going to be best. And when you pull for 10 times, like this here, I think the best time truly is when you 100% know you're going to get a legendary. You can know that, you can guarantee it. So don't 
I wouldn't pull on this unless you know you're going to get a legendary for the most part. That's just kind of the being smart about your resources type thing and hopeful, giving yourself the best odds, especially if you're free to play or low spend. You want every summon to have the best chances possible to get a legendary. And this doesn't increase your odds of getting a legendary. This does at the end of the day. So that's a debate here. Now, this week specifically, this week specifically, keep in mind that if you want to pull on it two times, you cannot get Silas and Vierna. So if you really want to get Silas and Vierna, and you want to pull on it two times because you're like me and you just hit your pity and you just assume you're not going to get a legendary anytime soon, so you want to wait for two times, but you want them, you wait till next week. Not this weekend, next weekend. And that's going to be my strategy for summoning, personally, is to save most stuff for next week, hoping that they still do another two times event. Like, we were assumed they were going to do these every other week, but so far it's like every week. Um, I think I will save her two times next week, hoping that they do it. And after that, Vierna and Silas will be part of the pool. So they did also specify in the in-game information that Silas and Vierna will be added to the normal pool of summoning after this event. So not until after the 6th of August. Keep that in mind. You cannot pull them at all unless you summon on this specific event banner until after the event otherwise. <laughs> so that's just... It's, it's such a debate, right? It's such a debate. But personally, 10 times events are for whales and krakens. Arguably low spenders if you've gotten lucky getting some good packs with good timing that help you hit your pities. But for the most part, 10 times events are just for people that are going to hit pity. I Because if you can guarantee that you're going to get a legendary because you've been keeping track of your pity and you know you have enough summons to get there, of course you want to hopefully get one of these shiny new heroes because they're both amazing, right? I would hope. I don't think anyone would not want to pull these two. They're great. But the other flip side is the just have fun, keep your sanity, it's a game, and that side of me is going to probably be a little bit bad. Now, I don't have much. I have 20 summons there. I have 3,000 diamonds, nothing crazy. I do need to push my campaign, so I should have more diamonds. But what I personally will probably do during my Friday live stream event, we are going to do another summoning party on Friday, just like normal, guys. Friday summons, let me know if you want me to do your summons for the 10 times event specifically. I'm probably going to do one 10 pull just to get it out of my system, right? Just to be like, all right, if RNG is on my side, let's go. One 10 pull just for fun. So if try to have some sort of strategy like that. If you are someone who really wants to save to min max, this still let you have a little bit of fun and get it out of your system if you, if you really do want to wait. Now, speaking of which, I do want to just stress that technically these events have not popped yet. So my advice is assuming everything stays as it is on the calendar, assuming there's no surprises, assuming it is, it is as written. And I mean, to be fair, they made it pretty clear here in the event notice. So we shouldn't have any changes. But if you want to be extra safe, you could always say wait to pull until the last day of the event as well. But I mean, we, we don't want to play a stressful always wait for literally everything type game for every aspect of the game either. We got to have a little bit of fun. So summoning party is still happening as planned. I will do summons on Friday for the rate up event. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to assume the risk of the calendar be and the wording being correct. We know we cannot get Silas and Vierna through the two times events. So anyone that wants Silas and Vierna, let's do it Friday. Let's have some fun. Hopefully I'll see you guys then. I hope this video was helpful. It was a little bit longer, but I kind of wanted to talk about all aspects of summoning, not just when should you pull, but I really hope that that helps you guys kind of decide. The TLDR, the wrap up is save for events to get some rewards, ideally, <laughs> whether that be um, 
I guess we can't even see Awakening of Heroes or the other event for sake of the fusion. Even better. Wait till next week if you can. Number two, if you're close to pity, pull on 10 times, go for it. If you know you're going to hit pity, you might as well try to get one of the good legendaries. If you're not close to pity, go for two times events because at least you have higher rates. And don't pull on this two times event this weekend if you want Silas and Mirna because it's not possible. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next video.